In this hour of the program, we start our gateway to fitness sessions. In the studio with me at the moment, I have Kathy Pinchbeck, who has been drafted in to help us get rid of those extra Christmas pounds. Good afternoon, Kathy. Hello, Jackie. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Can't wait to get started. Uh, what have you planned for us this afternoon? Oh, it's, it's nothing horrible. It's just a nice, gentle stretch and mobility class. Um, it's aimed at increasing the flexibility in your joints, strengthening just the main muscle groups in the body and ultimately just improving the functional fitness so just a little gentle exercise class just to get you moving get you started okay then uh, before we start the class I would just say you should be in good physical condition and be able to participate in the exercise Gateway Community Media is not a licensed medical care provider and represents that it has no expertise in diagnosing, examining or treating medical conditions of any kind or in determining the effect of any specific exercise on a medical condition. You should understand that when participating in any exercise or exercise program, there is the possibility of physical injury. If you engage in this exercise or exercise program, you agree that you do so at your own risk and are voluntarily participating in these activities. Assume all risk or of injury to yourself. We advise that you should engage in our sessions with another person where possible. Our activities will be able to be used on session days or on catch up from our website. Now, this session here with Kathy is going to be streaming on the Facebook page. So if you want to see us and you want to join in, please go to our Facebook page. So I'm handing you back to Kathy. Kathy, now, what are we Hello. going to be doing? Right, we're just going to start with a few gentle stretches just in the upper body and then we'll move on to, to some strength exercises. So we're just going to start with our neck, loosening up the um, joints in our neck and our neck muscles. You just bring your chin to chest for me and then look up to the ceiling and we're just going to repeat this a couple of times. Keep your chest up, your shoulders back and relaxed, just up and down, just releasing the tension in the neck. And as you come back to centre, we're just going to go to the opposite side. So we're just going to bring our right ear down to our right shoulder, keeping those shoulders down and relaxed. And back up to centre. And then down to the other side. And we're just going to repeat this, just left and right, just a couple of times, just to loosen up those vertebrae at the top of the spine. Don't worry if you hear any snap, crackle and pop, that's quite normal. And we do one more each side. And we're just going to move into some slow, gentle neck rotation. So you bring your chin to chest for me. Roll it round to your right shoulder. Round to the back and to the left. You just do four more rotations for me. Just nice, slow movement, keeping those shoulders relaxed. And one more time. And when you come back to centre, we're just gently going to roll the other way. So we're going to the left and round. Nice and gently, just loosening up those neck muscles. A couple more times. And then just as you come round, just bring your head back up to centre. Roll those shoulders back and relax. Take a nice deep inhale in through the nose and out through the mouth and relax. We're gonna move on to our shoulders. So all we're gonna do, we're gonna start with a simple shoulder shrug. So just bring your hands down at your side, arms nice and relaxed. And we're just shrugging those shoulders up towards the ears and bringing them back down. 
and we just repeat this a couple more times up and down and three more for me and nice and relaxed and two and last one for me and relax and now we're just going to move on and roll them backwards so you bring your shoulders up you're rolling them back, squeezing those shoulder blades together, opening up the chest. And we're just going to go in for four more, please. That's round. Remembering to breathe the whole time, keeping that chest up. And for two more. And this last one. And relax. Now we're going to do that safe movement again, but we're rolling them forward. So we're going to open up the shoulder blades this time. So you just bring them up, roll them forward, just nice and gently, opening up those shoulder blades. And we're going in for three and two and last one. Lovely, relax, give your arms a little wiggle, just shake it off. We're going to bring our arms out to the side for the next move. So we're bringing them out. So our elbows and our wrists are in line with our shoulders. Okay, nice straight back, chest lifted. And we're going to draw small circles in the air with our fingertips. It's great for the bingo wings, this one. And we're just going to go back for five and four, three, two. And on this last one, you stop and then you're bringing them forward for five, four, three, two, and one. Lovely, bring your arms down, give them a little shake. You can also add a wrist weight to those if you wanna try that at home, if you can, um, or just add a few more repetitions to make it a little bit more difficult for yourself. We're bringing those arms back out to the side again. Wrists and elbows in line with the shoulders. If you flip your right palm over so it's facing up towards the ceiling for me. And we're gonna lean just gently towards that right hand. And then coming back to center, flipping them over so your left palm's facing up. And then we're leaning to the right and we're just gonna go back and forwards for a few repetitions, remembering to swap the palms over each time. This increases the flexibility in the shoulders. It strengthens the muscles in the upper arms and it also increases the flexibility in the spine and the torso. Same again, you can add a little weight if you need to. Only stretch as far as you can go. And we'll do one more each side and then back. Last one on the left. Bring those arms down, give them a little shake. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose and exhale out through the mouth. We'll just do a couple more, just working on the shoulders and the flexibility in the shoulders. We're just gonna bring our arms forward into a big circle all the way around, up above our head and behind, squeezing those shoulder blades together at the back, opening up the chest, keeping your back nice and straight the whole time and that chest lifted. Nice big circles for me. You may hear a little snap, crackle and pop in your shoulder joints. That's perfectly normal. We're just lubricating those joints up. And we're going to go for one more. And then we're going to bring those rotations forward. So we're coming back round and down to the bottom. Face your palms in. And then we're bringing those circles forward. Nice big circles forward for me. <laughs> We're going forwards. Perfect. Nice big rotations forwards. Opening up the shoulder blades at the back. Increasing the mobility in those shoulders. And last time, bring those arms down. Give them a little shake. Give your shoulders a little roll. And relax. We're going to give our shoulders and our arms a little break now because they might be feeling a little bit achy. So if you can bring your arms down to the side for me, nice and relaxed. Roll those shoulders back and down, tummy button in, chest lifted, nice straight back. 
and we're going to lean down towards our right so our hand is coming down towards the floor we're just bending at the waist just as far as you can go and then slowly back up to center and then we're going down to the other side and we're just going to go left and right for a few repetitions waking up the muscles in the midsection waking up that spine don't lean any further it shouldn't hurt it should just feel like a nice stretch down the side and you'll feel that movement in the spine and we'll go for one more each side and on this last one when you come down to the right side I just want you to hold it here and gently lift your left arm over your head all the way over as far as you can go feel that nice stretch all down the left side of the body and just hold for me for five four three two one slowly come up rotate the arms so we're leaning down to that left side now bringing our arm over feeling that stretch all down the right side and just hold that for me for five four three two and one and come up relax take a nice deep inhale in through the nose and out through the mouth and one more for me in through the nose and out through the mouth you can just shuffle forward on your chair a little bit to bring your bottom forwards more towards the edge of the chair keeping your feet planted firmly on the floor we're going to continue with our midsection and the rotations in the spine we're just going to twist the midsection now so that we're looking over our right shoulder and then we're coming back to center and then we're going to twist to look over that left shoulder and I just want you to repeat that for me either side just for a couple of repetitions only go as far as you can go don't overstretch it should just be a nice stretch all down the sides and you feel that rotation in the spine and we'll go for a couple more each side last one to the right and then that last one to the left and back to center perfect we're going to move on to some strength exercises for our upper body so if you've got a tea towel or a scarf that you can use that's great if you haven't it doesn't matter i'll use mine just for demonstration purposes but it doesn't matter if you haven't got one um, you can also do all of these exercises with a small handheld weight or a tin of beans or a bottle of water so we're rolling our shoulders back and down chest lifted nice straight back if you have got a tea towel if you can just grasp it either end for me in an underhand grip and um, so that the tops of your hands are facing down towards your legs elbows tucked in at the side and we're just coming in to a bicep curl so we're bringing our hands up towards our shoulders nice slow controlled move and then slowly back down and the reason that we're using the tea towel is just because we're just creating an extra bit of tension and a bit of resistance but if you're just doing it on its own that's absolutely fine and we're going to repeat this for three and four we'll do two more and five and last one and slowly down and relax lovely give your arms a little shake you can increase the intensity on that just by as I said adding a weight or you can do a few more repetitions that's absolutely fine if you just grab your tea towel for me now so that your palms of your or the tops of your hands sorry are facing up towards you we're bringing our hands up to our shoulders our elbows bent tucked in at the side and the tops of our hands are facing our shoulders and we're just going to push above our head into an overhead press so we're going up for one keep that tension in your scarf or your tea towel if you've got it nice and slow and controlled don't lock the elbows out at the top we just want a slight little bend 
in the elbows and we're going to go in for three more and six and down and relax sorry everybody I lost count there give your arms a little shake staying in this position we've got one more with our tea towels bring your hands up back up towards um, your shoulders palms of your hands facing out backs of your hands towards your shoulders and we're going to push out in front of us in a chest press so we're just coming out for one keeping that tension in your towel and two and three and four if you give me two more please and five and your last one and slowly back in and relax give your arms a little shake you can put your tea towel to one side now you don't need that anymore we've got one more upper body move so we're going to be working more on our shoulders and strengthening those tops of those arms if you can bring your hands down to the side for me nice and relaxed shoulders are down and back <clears throat> just clench your fists for me and I want you to bring your arms out towards the side up above your head in a nice big circle touching your hands together at the top and then we're coming back down all the way back down your shoulder blades squeezing together at the back and then we're going all the way round you know on a round the world move and slowly back down slow and controlled the whole time and back up to the top keeping that belly button sucked in to protect your lower back and down and give me two more and down and this is the last one up to the top slowly back down and relax give those arms a shake give your shoulders a roll take a nice deep inhale in through the nose for me and relax out through the mouth lovely we're going to move on to some lower body now we're going to give our arms and our shoulders a bit of a break <clears throat> we're going to start off with a few stretches in our legs and then we'll just do a few strength moves just um, to help improve your functional fitness so if you just sit on your chair bottom planted firmly hips facing forward feet flat on the floor chest lifted back nice and straight for me and we're just going to bring our right leg out straight in front of us on our heels with our toes pointed up and I want you to lean forward and gently just run your hands down either side of your leg in a rolling motion and then back up again so it's just a rolling motion down your leg and you'll feel that stretch all down the back of your leg and we'll go in for just a couple more. It stretches out your hamstrings and your calves where we're sitting around quite a lot. And on this last one, if you can just hold it for me, only go as far as you can. If you can only go as far as holding your hands on your thigh, that's fine. If you're lucky enough and you can reach your toes, just hold that stretch for me just for a few seconds and you should feel a nice stretch all down the back of your calves and down the back of your leg and lovely just gently come up switch legs for me we're just going to do that rolling down our legs just stretch out those hamstrings nice slow move only lean forward as far as you can go give me a couple more one more and then on this last one if you can just hold that stretch for me and just allow that stretch down the back of the legs take a nice deep breath in and out and relax bring your feet back to planted on the floor for me 
and we're going to extend our leg our right leg out in front of us so it's going to come out straight our toes are going to be pointed up to the ceiling and we're just going to hold that there just for a few seconds if you need to put your hands underneath just to support it that's absolutely fine if not just hold it and feel the stretch just for five four three two and one bring it back down for me and switch legs bring your left leg up toe pointed up towards the ceiling just feel that stretch down the back of the legs and just hold that for me for five four three two and one and relax lovely we're just going to open up our hip flexors now get some mobility and flexibility in our hips so we're staying in this seated position chest up shoulders down and back and relaxed you just suck your belly button in for me and we're just gently going to slide our leg out to the side and then bring it back in again and we're just going to repeat this just for a few repetitions just to open up the hip flexors improve the mobility in our hips because as we get older it definitely they stiffen up and we lose the mobility in our hips and then we're just going to go in for one more and then back to center and we're going to swap to the other side and we're going to go out with the left and then back in and then out you may find that one of your hips is more flexible than the other that's perfectly normal and back in and for three and four and five and one last time and back to center perfect <clears throat> we're just going to bring our knees up now in front of us and then we're going to extend the leg out in front of you straight out in front and then bend the knee back down to the floor and then up with the knee extend it out and bend and down and we're going to repeat this a few times so lift that right knee up extend the leg and bend and back down and then one last time for me up extend and bend and back down and we're going to repeat on the other side so we're lifting that left knee up extending the leg and bending and back down and again for me just repeat this a few more times all these exercises are all aimed at increasing the flexibility in the joints and improving your functional fitness and we're strengthening the muscles in our legs as well while we're doing it and we'll just go for one more time and extend and down lovely just give your legs a little shake give your ankles a little, <laughs> a little roll roll the ankles out for me and then back in towards you and relax if you just bring yourself so your bottom is just towards the edge of the chair now Keep your back nice and straight, feet planted firmly on the floor. We're going to go from a sit to stand. We're just going to repeat that a few times. If you can do it with your hands on top of your thighs, that's great. If you need to use the edge of the chair for support to push you up, that's absolutely fine. You just do what is comfortable for you and the more you practice, the better you'll get. So hands on our thighs and we're just pushing up to a standing position squeezing your bottom at the top and then slowly lowering back down to the chair we're not flopping into the chair and then we're coming back up into standing keeping that back straight and the chest lifted the whole time slowly back down to your chair and then up again squeeze that bottom slowly back down and one more time squeeze the bottom slowly down to your chair and relax give your shoulders a roll just relax take a nice deep breath in for me and then out through the mouth 
and relax. Stay in the same position. I just want you to keep your hands on the top of your thighs, just by your knee. Put a slight pressure on them, so you're just pushing down gently on your knees. And all we're going to do, we're just going to come up onto our toes. And then slowly back down. And then back up onto our toes. And back down. And just continue to repeat this for me just a few times. Just working on those calves. Going for two and three, four and last one and just hold it, squeeze at the top and then back down for me and relax. If you're able to, we're going to go into some standing, assisted standing moves now. There's only a couple. Um, so if you're able to, just come up and stand at the back of your chair for me. You want to hold on to the back of your chair and you want to be arm's length away from your chair. Your feet are hip width apart, okay? Shoulders back and relax, nice lifted chest, nice straight back and we're going to go into an assisted squat. So we're pushing back with our bottoms, keeping our back straight and we're going as if we're going to sit on the toilet and then we're slowly coming back up we're squeezing at the top and then back down into that assisted squat and back up only go as low as is suitable for you you don't have to go right the way down and we're just going to repeat this a few more times squeezing at the top and back down and squeeze at the top and give me two more and back up nice slow controlled move and last one <laughs> and back to the top and relax bring your feet just slightly closer together for me they're just under hip width apart we continue to hold on to the chair and we're just going to kick out to the side with our right leg just hover it above the floor so we're going out for one and slowly back in and two opening up the hip flexors and keep repeating for me just nice slow move I don't want you swinging it I want you to control it the whole time and give me three more and two and last one and bring it in relax and we're gonna go out on the other side now so we're going out on our left nice and controlled out to the left don't swing it just go as far as you can go if you need to tap out on the floor rather than keeping that leg elevated that's fine and just give me three more and two and last one and relax give your legs a little shake going to open up our hip flexors a bit more and we're just going to do some work for our bottom and then I'll let you relax. So keep that back nice and straight. We're going to kick backwards with our right leg now, okay? And we're just going to kick back just as far as you can go. If you need to tap it on the floor, that's fine. And then bring it back to centre and just kick back for me just a few more times. And give me four more and three and two and last one and switch sides for me and we're going back with a left for one and two three four give me two more and last one and relax shake those legs off come back round onto your chair we just do a little stretch and then you're all done so sitting firmly on your chair chest lifted shoulders back just clasp your hands together at the front bringing them above our head palms facing the ceiling looking up towards the ceiling 
and just do a nice stretch for me. Take a deep breath in and exhale out. And one deep breath in. And as you exhale out, just fold forward, gently leaning forward, bringing those hands towards the floor, opening up the spine. Just feel that stretch all down the back. Take a deep inhale in for me, in through the nose and out through the mouth. And then gently roll up just one vertebrae at a time, back to seated. Come up, roll those shoulders back. One last inhale in through the nose and out through the mouth for me. And relax.